Hi guys! Another video for you. This one is actually going to be a short one. I think the last one I said was going to be a short one. It was like 16 minutes. I don't think that's very short. Um, but this one today or tonight is going to be on hair loss. Um, I'm sure a lot of you that have had Crohn's and ulcerative colitis have lost your hair because of flares and that has to do with malnutrition, your body just being super screwed up and, and, and inflamed and irritated and you just lose a lot of your hair. Now, I'm a, I'm a lucky person because I have a lot of hair, um, but it's always still devastating because it's just one other thing that makes you just feel awful um, and that you can't control. The other thing is if you are a J poucher or an ostomate, um, or have had surgery, you know that you've probably lost hair from the trauma of the surgery anyways. Um, and then also iron deficiency. That's another reason why you can lose too. And I think, especially when you have ulcerative colitis and you bleed all the time, that's probably another reason why you lose your hair is because of iron deficiency. Um, and then also when you are an ostomate or a G pouch or your ileum is compromised, which is the very bottom of your small intestine, and that's what's responsible for absorbing um, your B vitamins and your iron, et cetera, et cetera. So um, that's another reason why you could be losing hair. Um, my hair is finally growing back, so I'm just going to kind of share with you my experience um, of when I had ulcerative colitis, um, all the flares I went through, you know, surgeries, etc., remission, blah, 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 and now where I am being a J-poucher and battling losing hair and getting it to stop. Um, so, of course, when I had ulcerative colitis, I was diagnosed in 2012. And I had my surgery at the end of 2015. So all the flares I went through, especially the very first one was, gosh, I was probably most of that year in a flare in the last three months before I finally was went in the hospital and was diagnosed was when it was the worst. And I just lost tons and tons and tons and tons of my hair. It was just coming out in clumps. I could actually feel my head, which isn't normal for me. Um, and I mostly would just lose it in the crown especially back here. Um, I never got any bald spots, but it was enough to just make a big difference. Um, and then of course I finally got myself in remission. Um, and I was in remission for a while and my hair grew back like crazy and I got my thickness and fullness. Everything went back to normal for quite a while. Um, and then I went another flare, lost some hair. You know, my worst one was 2014. That was the worst flare where I just started shedding my hair again. And then after that flare, um, going in 2015 until the end of 2015 when my surgery was the end of 2015 I just battled in and out of remission so I was just shedding hair pretty much that entire 12 months just non-stop losing hair and it it was awful um, I was even taking a lot of supplements that I knew that could help grow it back but the key was you had to stop the hair loss first before I could grow it back so it just sucked really bad um, fast forward, um, I decided to get my surgery and that was when I was at the worst, you know, it wasn't, it was my, mostly my left side, my sending part of my colon and my, my rectum, which is proctitis that was just rabid, um, with disease. Um, so I was losing my hair up to that point, um, had surgery, I had two surgeries. So I had the first one in December, 2015, where they took out my entire colon, created the J pouch, gave me an ileostomy while my J pouch healed. And I had that for two months, a little over two months. And then February, 2016 is when I had the step two surgery. For me, it was a final surgery. I know some of you have three steps. Um, then they took down my ileostomy and I was officially a J poucher. Um, so after that, I was still losing hair. First, it kind of stopped for a minute. I was like, oh yay, now I can work on growing my hair back because I know the routine. Um, but that's not really what happened. It just started falling out like crazy again. Um, and first I, I kind of thought that was probably trauma from the surgery. And again, I referenced jpouch.org in pretty much every video I have. Um, I went to jpouch.org, talked about it. Um, so it probably was from the trauma of the surgery, but it was iron intake. And I was, I waited for a long time before I started trying to like, fix my iron intake. Um, I basically just was thinking I was going to have to wait 
out this trauma from the surgery and I think that can honestly the trauma from a surgery like that if it's like five hours long or longer it can take you a couple years it took me basically almost two years to get the energy back that I have now um, but finally this past summer was when I was like okay I'm gonna try and manage taking care of managing my iron um, so I, I I used to take when I had ulcerative colitis, I used to take a supplement called Floridax. I think it was Floridax, Floridax. Um, some of you probably know what it is. It's an all natural liquid supplement. Um, and I used to take that a lot just to get my iron. They have one that's like iron and magnesium and all these different ones, but iron is one of their main things because it's gentle on the tummy and iron can, can kind of screw up your stomach a little bit and cause you to be constipated. So that was like, I, I didn't need my stomach being screwed up. So I used to take that, but now I have like a histamine intolerance since 2014 and I'm gonna do another video on that, side note. Um, other side note, if any of you have noticed that you're having a histamine tolerance, if you know what that is, comment below or email me or something because I would love to talk about it, but I am gonna do a video on that um, in the near future. Um, so I can't take it because they use a lot of grapes in it and grapes are high, especially um, purple grapes, red wine too, it's high in histamine and I tried that um, and it's an expensive supplement, the Floridex, when I um, uh, decided to try and manage my iron, I immediately flared up with um, swollen eyes, swollen lips, itchy eyes, itchy lips, and that's one of my symptoms from histamine intolerance. So I, I couldn't take that, so I had to give it away to somebody else, and I was devastated. Um, I ended up thinking, well, maybe I can just try a pill, and I know there's some iron pills that um, say they're easy to digest and they're easy on the stomach. Um, so I ended up getting these, and I started taking these in August. I literally only took them, I think, for three or four days. My hair immediately stopped shedding. It immediately stopped shedding within the 24 hours or less. The only thing is, I got my very first um, blockage when I took this, and I knew it was from this, and I told my doctor what I took. So I don't know why I still have this. I need to give this away to somebody, and this was actually pretty cheap. It probably was like 12 bucks maybe at health food store. Um, but I just, my body couldn't do it. Um, and that was, a, that was, I've had about three blockages so far to, the first one was really bad and the two other ones were minor ones, but I, I, I couldn't do that anymore. So I was like, okay, what do I need to do? Not only do I need to take iron, I wasn't taking a multi, um, daily vitamin either. So, um, and I've showed this in my last video. I'm going to show it again and I'm going to put another link. I used to take this faithfully all the time to get all my nutrients and my daily vitamins in when I was like, well, about a couple years ago when I was um, still at ulcerative colitis, I would take this. And it's a liquid um, prenatal vitamin and it does have um, a good iron, high iron supplement in there, but it's all natural. Um, no grapes, so I don't have to worry about having a reaction. This, going back on that, has stopped my hair falling out pretty quickly, pretty instantaneously, and then also now my hair is growing back like wildfire. So bad that uh, I've had little Shirley Temple curls randomly pop up everywhere, and it just looks like my hair's, I've had so much breakage up here, but it's not, it's just new growth constantly. Um, so thank God. Um, and then also on top of it, it makes my hair grow back really fast. So for women, that's really great. You don't have to be trying to get pregnant. You don't have to be, you know, just had a baby or be pregnant taking this. Um, it's just everything you need and then some, why not? Um, for men, if I were you, I would look for a natural liquid vitamin. The Floridex one you guys could do. I'm going to put the, the um, link for that one down too. But men, you could do that. You can always probably find some kind of all natural liquid supplement too um, for men. So you don't have to take prenatal. But I, I don't suggest doing, unless you're fine and you can handle it. If you want to try it, go for it. I just, from my experience, I just don't think it's worth the risk. You're already, you know, your body's already been kicked down multiple times. You still have a disease. We still probably suffer from, from fatigue. I just, I wouldn't even bother. Um, so that's good, been my main thing is getting my iron under control and um, 
getting the hair to stop falling out. You gotta find a way to get that hair to stop falling out. The other thing would be, and I've showed this one too before, this is really good in general, especially us people with autoimmune diseases, Crohn's and ulcerative colitis, you, you suffer with um, joint pain or arthritis, some form of it, most of us do. And this is something that really helps with that. It's collagen, but it's collagen hydrolysate, slate, which means it's powdered collagen that is able to dissolve in cold or hot liquids. Um, I'll usually just put a tablespoon or two every morning in my coffee or my tea. It kind of foams and it tastes like you put a slab of butter in your coffee or tea. You know, for me it does. It doesn't bother me at all. A lot of people put it in their smoothies, um, but the good thing is this just kind of helps with your joints. Instead of taking glucosamine, you could take collagen. Um, and then the, the benefit of it is it makes your hair grow like wildfire. So it's, it, that's another benefit. So not only are you going to get your hair loss to stop, you're going to finally get your hair to grow back faster. It definitely, I notice I'm constantly having to trim my nails often. It makes your nails super strong, grow back faster. And then another benefit, it's really good for your skin. Um, so there's all these beautiful benefits to it. But main thing is... Um, it definitely makes your hair grow back way faster. And I, I'm consistent with this just because of my joint pain. That's, um, you know, why I started taking it. And then the other thing is I did take it when I, before my surgery, when I had ulcerative colitis because it helped heal my colon. It helped kind of minimize the bleeding and it did minimize the bleeding drastically, but I was just too far gone. At that point, I couldn't get the bleeding to stop. So I'll put a link for this as well. Um, there's another one and I had this again in my last video because my last video was all about the supplements I take and why um, Was Jaro Sil. It's activated silicon. Now you can take all these together or you can just choose what you want to take It's up, you know, whatever floats your boat. I do take all three um, Activated silicon. It's a mineral that also helps you build collagen um, so I originally started taking that for my joints way back when, like right after I was diagnosed and I didn't want to take prednisone and um, Asacol or anything anymore. Um, and that one makes your hair grow back really fast. The one thing I noticed with that too, I noticed my eyelashes grow fast with that one too, which is kind of weird. Um, but again, it, it helps your joints feel better. It cushions your joints. It helps your skin. It helps your nails. But you're going to start noticing that your hair is going to grow back faster too. So that's pretty much the things that I do and it's been successful for me. My hair is not falling out at all like it did. It mostly will fall out like what it's a normal rate for a woman that has long hair. Um, you know, again, I think the main thing is you have to find a way to stop the hair from shedding first before you can get it to grow back. And the key for what I truly believe is getting your iron intake under control. Doesn't hurt to try. I'm gonna put um, a link underneath here for Floridix, which is an all natural iron supplement. Um, I just can't take that one because I have a histamine intolerance. If you have a histamine intolerance, again, if you even know what that is, I, 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 I would stay away from that one. Um, but men, women, you guys can take that. It, it, I think the small bottles run about 25, but the which are pretty small, but the regular big size bottles, which is about this size or a little bit bigger, I think are like 45. They're kind of expensive. I'll put a link for that. Um, women, this is great. It's everything you need. Um, whether you're trying to get pregnant, you're pregnant, or not even, doesn't matter. You can take this. Um, this, I think, I get off of Amazon. It goes for like 32 bucks, I think. I'll put a link for that. And then definitely the collagen men and women can take this. And then also my Jarosil, which is activated silicon. Um, I hope this helps you guys. If you have any questions, please comment below or email me at the email below. Like me on Instagram, like me on Facebook, links are below. And again, when I was talking about histamine intolerances earlier, I'm my next video is going to be about that. So please, if you even know what that is or you want to talk about it, comment below or email me. I would love to hear from you guys. All right, well, have a good night. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.